In this tutorial we're going to use Thunkable.com to create an Android app to um, take a photo using the phone, draw over that photo and then share it with a friend. So first up, once you've registered for Thunkable you do need a Google account to do that and um, once you've logged in you create a new app. I'm going to call this Paint Me. There we are. So if we go into Paint Me you can see that we have a screen and uh, this is where all our um, buttons, our user interface is going to go. So first what we have to do is add all our graphics and all our components that we're going to be using and then we start the code to actually um, then get that, that working. So um, first up we need a camera so we're just going to drag that onto there. We also need to share that photo after we've dealt with it so in social uh, there's a sharing option, just drag that in. Now you can see there's nothing actually changing on the screen, you can just see that we're just adding components. Um, we're also going to have a little feature on there, so once we shake the phone it actually removes all the um, editing that we've done, all the drawing we've done. So that's under sensors and that's accelerometer. Okay, so now um, we're going to add the um, where the photo is going to go, where we're going to draw over that photo. So if we have a look in drawing and we drop canvas onto there. So um, we're going to do some, we need to set the size of this. So we're going to give it 76% uh, and the width is we're going to fill parent and that goes for the full width. So we do that, um, we use percentages because obviously all the screen sizes that we're going to be, this is going to be used on is, are going to be different. If we use pixels it wouldn't be the, it might work for our phone but it wouldn't work for anyone else's. Okay so um, now we're going to add the user interface for the buttons. So we're going to organize these into, um, we're going to use the horizontal arrangement, so we're going to drag that underneath um, and we're going to say this is all good and we're going to add some buttons to this so in the user interface we can select button and drag that into our horizontal and that button is going to be actually to take the photo so we need to in the text area so it says button 1 it actually should say take photo okay um, I'm going to change some of the font characteristics of this we want it to look good so I'm going to leave the size correct at that but I'm going to use Roboto regular for all of my fonts and that should be it. And then we're going to have a share button. Drag another button in. And this one is going to be auto regular. And it's going to say share. And we're also going to have some buttons to actually make the brush bigger and smaller. So again, button drag that on here and this one is a larger button so we're just going to add a plus sign and this button doesn't have to be as big so we'll give this a width of on this case 40 pixels and 40 pixels Actually, height doesn't need a width. So let's get rid of that. And we've got the plus, so we need the minus. Oops, scroll that down. And that will be a bottom regular and minus. And we need the width at 40.
Okay, so we've got take photo, share the photo, and make the um, this larger and smaller. Now, when we drag these in, what you should, what you'll see is it uh, just names them button one, button two, button three, and button four. That's not necessarily useful because we need to program this later, and we need to identify. So we need to name these in a in a sensible way. So if this says take photo we we should actually name this take photo so if oh rename there we go uh rename so instead of button one that's going to be take oh take photo and you can see i've capitalized p there shouldn't be any spaces in these names um and you should this is called camel case um capitalization so you just highlight uh you uppercase the middle word so let's take photo, this one's share, so we rename that to share photo. And this is larger brush. And this one is rename smaller. Oh, no space. Smaller brush. Okay, so we want to actually be able to choose different colours for our um our brush so we're going to add another layout another horizontal arrangement underneath this one and we're going to add a number of different paint colors so these are actually just going to be buttons uh, that we're going to color and uh, users uh, when they click on it it will change the the color of the of the brush so we drag uh, we're going to have six different so we're just going to go one two three four, five, and six. So, um, we're going to size these to 40 by 40. Ideally, we should be using percentages. In fact, that's what I am going to do. So, on the width, so we've got six. Uh, six is into a hundred, is um, around sixteen. So we'll put sixteen percent. Six. Get rid of that. That be sixteen percent. This means that any screen size that comes along, it will just work. Oh, not the height. The height we're happy with is the width. Okay, so we've got six those six buttons there. So this first one we're going to have black, so we'll call it uh, black brush. And what we need to do is we need to actually um, get rid of the text. It doesn't actually need to say anything. The, the text color doesn't matter actually. What matters is the background color, and by default it's black, so that's all good. Um, what am I missing? Um, no, that's all good. Then we've got button two. That's going to be red. So we rename that to red brush. And we need to get rid of the text. And turn that color to red. There we go. See, this brush hasn't turned to default because default is actually probably see-through, so we actually need to change that to black. This next one's going to be blue, so we rename it to blue brush. Oh, get rid of the text. Should 
change that to blue. This one is going to be green. You get the idea. This one's going to be yellow. Oh, rename. Yellow brush. This one's going to be orange. Rename orange brush. So this is going to be much easier when we come to programming and also when we come to move things around and, and relay things out. We can easily go, okay, well this is the blue brush and we know that when we click on that that's going to be highlighted or the black brush and that's going to be highlighted. Okay, so that's all the graphics laid out. Um, so we're this we've all we've been in the designer mode throughout all of this. The next bit is into the blocks mode. So we click into there, 